Many teams that aren't so sure they can stop an offense once it's set in motion will attempt to disrupt it with pressure, be it in the backcourt or frontcourt. That's why it's essential to have players and particular guards with the composure and ball handling skills needed to conquer such pressure and initiate the offense. Here are effective ways for your team to deal with pressing defenses. We begin by relieving the pressure of the guard-to-guard -guard pass by the forward, weak side forward coming up and getting the ball. Opponents often learn that we're starting most of our set offensive plays with guard-to-guard. -guard. So when they're doing that, the off-guard Defending the one without the ball, he'll be playing high. He'll be playing high to try to stop this pass or maybe make an interception if they play him. Well, when that happens, this wingman over here must see that. He must see that and he must come up here high. All at once he comes up here and he hits him in here. And because this man was playing tight, that gives him a nice cut back door. He hits it there and often he can get a layup on that. We had that worked against us very similar by a, a certain coach in our area, Pete Newell, one of the better coaches the game has had. And we knew that he's doing something like that the first play of every game. And, and uh, Delg on it, you know, uh, even in warning the players, oftentimes it'll work against us. And, uh, you just forget momentarily. This enabled us at times to get a very easy uh, shot in there and pass to him. In this particular case, he didn't pass to him. Held on to the ball, and he goes on through and comes around the double screen on the other side. That's just an option that will happen in case he doesn't get open. All right, this man sees two way over. He should be over here faking a left, left foot step like you're going to come this way. And then he's got the, the timing must be as the ball goes here to here, he jabs that left foot and then cuts at an angle. And see, he's running an arc. We don't want to run arcs any more than we absolutely have to. Now he's giving, the, when he runs the arc, he's giving the defensive man that's just a straight line to hit him off while he's running arc. We don't want that. In addition to the backdoor pass, the uh, weak side forward can hand off to the second cutter. He didn't get open. The passing guard sets his man up, comes off the post, sometimes get a little easy one just like that. And the cutting guard swings around, comes back out. That was very effective at times with the, the passing guard coming through but uh, he has to do the little things to set it up. This passing guard, for example, has got to jab with the left foot to get his man to turn, turn his head slightly, and then run him right into that postman. Before the guard-to-guard -guard pass, if that guard sees the forward overplayed, he hits the center up high. We look for a back door, and then that forward coming off the double screen on the weak side. Mm -hmm. All right, he sees him coming up, so he hits him. And we got the reverse there. Before this man makes the reverse, he should jab with his right foot and then swing back faster, set his man up. Jab with the right foot and then cut off. And screen, double screen there. Look for him around there. And cut hard. That's the way I like for you to cut hard if you pass there. Sometimes your man may look over and you just got a lob pass in there for an easy one. <laughs> 